Well, hey guys, and welcome back to Hey, It's a Good Life. I am so glad you're here because I think today is the day I finish shoveling dirt. It's definitely a huge motivator to get this space cleaned up and looking good and just have it be so welcoming and so inviting. It would be such a reward to be able to enjoy a meal out here in the garden. And so that's what I'm working towards. So I better hop off here and keep shoveling some dirt. Join me today as we finish up the garden beds. I have been so focused on filling these beds that I have not broken out the camera to capture how much soil I've moved. I've captured a little bit when Tommy has helped me, but other than that, I have not taken the camera out to show you guys how much soil I have moved, which is honestly so miraculous. I'm out here shoveling this morning thinking, six months ago, this would have been an absolute dream. Like there was no way I could move my body like this six months ago because I had hurt myself and my garden dreams were so crushed and I was just feeling so hopeless that I was ever gonna be feeling better. And now I'm out here shoveling dirt, using a wheelbarrow, filling up my garden beds, starting a new garden. And I'm so excited to share this journey with you guys. I have friends coming over for Memorial Day weekend and I'm so excited to share our home with them. It's definitely a huge motivator to get this space cleaned up and looking good and just have it be so welcoming and so inviting. It would be such a reward to be able to enjoy a meal out here in the garden. And so that's what I'm working towards. So I better hop off here and keep shoveling some dirt. Join me today as we finish up the garden beds. Before I forget, I want to tell you guys about the gloves that I'm using today. They're by a company called Diggs, and these were actually gifted to me by our neighbor. And we have absolutely fallen in love with these gloves. Tommy and I both love these gloves so much, we're going to order ourselves a pair. And they're so great, they're so lightweight, so sturdy, so comfortable. I'm really enjoying using them, so I thought I would tell you guys about them. I'll go ahead and link them down below. I may have just shoveled my final shovel of dirt into these garden beds. <sighs> wow. It's the middle of the day and it is a lovely day. I do try to make it a practice to take a break midday, not overexert myself in the noonday sun. I am going to go to Tractor Supply. This is gonna be the first time I've gone to Tractor Supply. So of course, I'm gonna take you guys with me and let me tell you what we're on mission for today. We are on mission, not for chicks, not for anything of the sort, although if they have them, you know I will say hello to them. But we are on a mission for a garden trellis. What I've used here as a temporary garden trellis is some rebar mesh from Home Depot. And as you can see, it rests. Luckily, with cattle panels, there is no resting involved. So we need to go get ourselves a couple trellises. I'm gonna do one here for the garden here, this entryway. And then we need a couple for the front as well. So let's head out to Tractor Supply. But first, I need to pack some brownies as a thank you to some friends who lent us their wheelbarrow. We are so grateful and I need to make sure they feel the love. So while I'm out, I'm also going to deliver some brownies. I almost left without a couple crucial items. One of those items, zip ties. The other item, paracord. And the last item, our Mexican blanket. All of these items are items I will most likely 
have to use in order to transport these cattle panels home on my sedan. Good luck to me. <laughs> wow, here I am. I made it. Behold the glory that is tractor supply. I'm so excited. <laughs> That's what's great about being a channel that is documenting the journey is that I get to share so many firsts with you. Like this is literally my first time at Tractor Supply and I'm so giddy about it. Like I'm just really excited and that's really cool that I get to share that with you guys. So I'm probably not going to take my camera in there, but I will report back to headquarters about how it is inside. is like an egret doing in the middle of the road <laughs> okay so kind of a failed attempt round one at tractor supply I paid for a handy panel but they only had in stock cattle panels there was some confusion long story short I'm gonna have to go tomorrow to another tractor supply and get the correct kind of panel so stay tuned for how I'll be moving that on my Corolla the adventures continue here at the house. I've got some things in store. I'm gonna build one garden bed minimum, maybe two, which will be good so that I can kind of show you guys the behind the scenes of building the garden beds. He's so cool. You're so cool. I love you. <laughs> Let's play a game called how quickly can I build a garden bed? tractor supply and there's a pupper next door hi pupper when you've got a lot of garden stuff to move and a tiny car you always want to keep twine and a thick blanket in your trunk I have learned I have learned that where there is a will there is a way to move big items with a tiny car. So I just got off the phone with my friends and they asked me when I was going to do a tutorial on how to build a raised garden bed. And it hit me that I really haven't shown you guys how I build our raised garden beds. Like not the process of walking you through it. I have not really walked you through how I build our raised garden beds. Now I should say, I am going to show you how I build them. However, it comes with a huge preface. Which I am not a professional carpenter by any means. I am totally self-taught from watching different YouTube videos and just doing it on my own and figuring it out as I go. So I just want to throw that out there. Certainly this is not like a professional plan, but these plans have worked for us and I need to build one more bed for out front. So on this last garden bed, I am going to show you how I build a very basic raised garden bed. So let's get started. Behind me, I've got everything pre-cut and measured. I've got four posts as the legs. I've got my end pieces. I've got my sideboards and, and I've got the pieces that are going to lay inside of the bed, which will support the slats. I should say that I'm using to support the weight of the soil. I am using two by threes, which I got as coal lumber. Coal lumber is a discount form of lumber. If it's got nicks, severe dents, chips, if it's just really misshapen for some reason, a lot of lumber places, I got this lumber at Home Depot, um, will mark down lumber. If you're going to buy coal lumber though, just be sure that the types of deformities that exist within that wood that are lending it to being 70% off, like I got this lumber for, just be sure that those deformities aren't the kind of deformities that are going to create problems for your project. All right guys, let's get into it. So I always start with the end pieces. That ensures that you can get slats that are the same width as the width of your bed. Also, I'm leaving a small gap at the top here between the post and the panel. And that is so that I can use the corner jointer to bring everything together in a little bit. And again, I'll show you what I mean in just a second. So 
So welcome to part two of building a garden bed, at least in my world. This is kind of like part two. You've got your end panels assembled. Now we just need to get them in the corner jointers and start drilling in those first pieces of the long boards. Let me show you what that looks like. Got everything squared Ooh. so I've got everything squared up in the corner joints now I just need to screw in the long boards into these end panels if you want to call them that and then that's going to give us a very basic rectangle everything's going to be held together at that point and then we'll just need to add the second long panels the internal slat supports and then the slats Now all that's left to do is screw in those two pieces of coal lumber as the slat supports and add the slats. Well hey guys. It's the end of the day and I am so tired. I have this problem with underestimating like how long stuff is actually gonna take, <sighs> but I'm learning. Anyway, I wanted to share something really cool with you guys because I just came back out here to start hauling soil into those beds that we just built. It's absolutely breathtaking out here. Now let me just preface that what you're about to see is not where we're actually going to plant the plants. However, it is nonetheless extraordinarily magical to see lush green foliage in my new garden. to sit in this spot and see so many plants in the garden that I dreamed up just a few months ago. I sat here in this very spot, like right here has been my little go-to area for months and I've just dreamt and dreamt and dreamt and worked and worked and worked towards building this and it kind of blows my mind that I'm staring at it honestly. I could sit here and say, wow, I'm really bummed I didn't finish all of the things I set out to do today. I could do that. Or I could look around me and say, oh my goodness, chick, you have done so much. Once upon a time, there was a giant mountain of dirt in the middle of the patio. That's gone. Now we've just got like the little side alley of dirt left to go. I could say, wow, I can't believe I didn't get my garden planted today in the front. Or I could say, hey, I did a tutorial instead on how to build a garden bed and I hauled a lot of soil. I'm super proud of myself. And I just feel like these are options that we face every day in life, glass half empty or half full. And even though I didn't get my checklist finished today, I am choosing joy today, friends. And I'm gonna pat myself on the back and say, job well done. You're so close, kid. Keep going. Thanks for joining me today, you guys. I hope this video blesses you, and I'll see you guys in the next video where we are going to plant all of the plants, and I'll give you a tour of every single plant that I've purchased and where they're going and what I'm excited about. I can't wait. Thanks for joining me today, you guys. I'll see you in the next one. This just in. I just sat down after filming this video and was like, I'm gonna have a moment to myself in the garden. And then a hummingbird came over here and just got all up in my business. And he's checking out the fuchsia salvia that I specifically bought for hummingbirds. And he's literally going through every one. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and see if I can show you guys this cute little hummingbird. No, come back. Oh, he took a little respite here on the trellis. And I was like, oh, oh, signs of promised land. It just filled my heart. I'm gonna see if I can I can share with you. He's so cute. He's cleaning himself and sharpening his little beak. Okay, let's see.
next time. Next time we'll catch the hummingbird together. Okay, this is officially where we part ways. I'll see you guys next time.